Welcome everyone once again to Love and Live God in Everyday Life. We are back here with Cyrus on knowing more about Meher Baba's life, knowing more about the avatar of our age. Coming to your earlier uh, thought, which is very valid, many people ask, how come when Meher Baba you claim or Baba claims to be the avatar of this age, how come we don't, we never heard of him? How come we don't even know his name? How come he's not so known? So my answer to that would be that in order to compare, you need to compare comparables. You need to have a very fair playing ground in a sense, you know. If you are comparing, let's say, Jesus the Christ, who was born 2000 odd years before, to Meher Baba, who was just born 100 years before, you know, how can there be a comparison? And I'm quite convinced I feel that during the period of whether it be Jesus or Ram or Zoroaster or whatever, you cannot compare in terms of numbers, the followers of right. Meher Baba with the followers of Islam or followers of Christianity or Vedantic right. thought or whatever it is, because the time periods are quite varied. And they have been there since thousands so, of exactly, years. Exactly. And I feel uh, even in that advent, if we go to see uh, whether the numbers were same or not, but the contextual part would remain the same, that when the avatar is there, that is there. and within that span of his living ministry to him dropping the body, there would be equivalently minuscule number Absolutely. even in their times Absolutely. to what it is Absolutely. today. That's what I'm trying so to say. That, yeah. uh, so you need to compare that with analysis, and it not, would yeah, uh, remain a the same playing ground as we yes, say. Yes, yes. Very true. And therefore with this entire uh, today mushrooming of the varied ways in which Baba is literally reaching out yes, uh, yes. to you know people and more people knowing about him or just feeling about him. There's so many who cannot even pinpoint exactly what it is but they know something is there and I feel that that has been as you rightly said in every advent where we are trying to have these inner conflicts about our own speculation of who we want to believe and why do we want to believe in him. Absolutely. Now we are talking about beliefs so I would like to digress a little bit and this has been always the case that people who come to know about Meher Baba would be following somebody or the other, either some master or some, some somebody, you know, or religion, religion, religion or, or some master. Right. So the question that arises, how do we know that Meher Baba is the same as Krishna? Or if I leave X, Y, Z and follow Meher Baba, would that not be an insult to what I'm following, you see? Now this had happened to me as well in a, initially, you know. And the answer that I generally give, you know, like for example, I'm a follower of Zoroaster and uh, now I follow Meher Baba and uh, somehow or the other, I don't have a photograph of Zoroaster in my house. So when some Parsis come and say, oh, you are a Zoroastrian, but there's no photograph of uh, Zoroaster in your house, how come? So the logic or the reason or the answer that I give them is this, you know, that, okay, you have a child, you have a baby boy or a baby girl, very cutie, 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 you know. So she is three years old, so you carry a photograph in your wallet and say, oh, this is my daughter, this is my daughter, this is my daughter. Nowadays, of course, you flip through the, uh, mobile <laughs> your mobile phone and show it that way, you know. Now the child has grown up, now she is 15, 16. And now when you talk about your daughter, would you show the photograph of the three-year-old daughter or the 15-year-old daughter? Obviously the 15 year Why? The answer is she is the same one. She is the same one. So when in my psyche, in my mind, in my heart, if I'm convinced that Zoroaster and Meher Baba is one and the same, so I'm putting the photograph of the most recent one. I don't have to, uh, let's say, cajole or pacify all the masters because they are all the same. It's, it's just one. Chai Baba. <laughs> 